November 5th, 2038. 1121 p.m. Jimmy's Bar. Or Connor again. Correct. No androids allowed. And no dogs. It says, no androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Oh. So, before we enter, what's going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Detroit Become Human. Last time, uh, as Amy mentioned, we did not play as Connor in the last episode. Two episodes ago we did, which was the first. So if you've missed the first two episodes, I encourage that you go check it out. You're still early on in the series. You haven't missed uh, a ton, but enough that you'll want some context as to what's going on with us here. Um, but yeah, it's nice to be back as Connor, huh? Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just get right back into it. But... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. What? Oh, and no androids Owners allowed. will be prosecuted. Yeah. Wow. Find Lieutenant Anderson. Because segregation and all that, I guess. And we get to scan. Ugh, Look around man. using the right stick. Scan the faces. No face detected. Target turned away. Same here, I guess. Oh, what does that say? Hold triangle to analyze. Edward Dempsey, born February 8th, 1995, administrator, no criminal record. Okay. Um, I guess we can uh, look at the bartender. Jimmy Peterson, born February 1st, 2001, business owner, no criminal record, and not a match for the lieutenant that we're looking for. Uh, ooh, we can get this guy from the side, I guess. Derek Myers, born uh, May 7th, 1989, security guard, no criminal record. These guys are turned away. Oh no, I guess not. This guy's not, right? Lieutenant Hank Anderson, ah. born September 6th, 1985, police lieutenant, no criminal record. Now it says we have to introduce ourselves. Do you want to scan the other people or not? Uh, I'm, I, I don't know because I don't know why we're here. You know? Well, it says find Lieutenant Anderson. Yes, but <clears throat> okay. <laughs> why? I don't know. <laughs> so this is Kim Yohan, born November 10th, 1999, Delivery driver, currently unemployed. Criminal record for domestic abuse. Mm. I was just about to say, no way he was born in 1999. And then I was like, oh, yeah. It's 2038. Uh. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. You want to talk to him? Yeah. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> they did a really great job. Oh, of reason, making... threat, and understanding or persist. Sorry. Oh, uh, reason? I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. Sorry, it, was per it automatically went to persist. To I have to accompany. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. <laughs> where? <laughs> Hank, tense. Threaten, understanding, or reason? Understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable presence of androids but I, I am perfectly comfortable now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can spill his drink buy him another drink or wait outside buy him another drink you know what I'll buy you one for the road what do you say bartender the same again please 
do that. Jim wonders Neutral. Make it a double. Jesus. <laughs> Did you say homicide? As I was saying, they yes. did a great job uh, with that actor Clancy Jones, making I believe his name is. the picture of his face look exactly like that actor. Yeah. Um, Do you know what? Like this person really doesn't. You wait here. But yeah. Patient, firm, or diplomatic? Patient. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. <laughs> Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. No. That's the only option. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Uh, okay. Do you want to exit the car or not? <coughs> Fuck. Excuse me. Okay, I didn't realize we were here. I, I I thought when I made that decision that it was because we were making a stop along the way. Nope. Um, so, yes, I will exit the car. Okay. Uh, do you know who Clancy Jones is the voice of? Again, I might be wrong on his name, but the actor who we were just talking with, the lieutenant... You mean like other characters that he voices? Yeah. In this? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. Yeah. Oh, no, not in this. No. In pop culture. I mean, he's been in a lot of different things. Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. So... <laughs> oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Interesting. From the landlord, tenant had paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. What's going on? That's when he found the body. You only hear the rain when he talks. When the lieutenant talks, you don't hear the rain. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, I'll stay easy. It wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. Ugh. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. <laughs> well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Investigate the crime scene. Briefing concluded. Review evidence zero of ten. Yeah, let's start looking at some clues Each here. Each letter is perfect. No human rights like this. Exactly. All right, let's Chris, examine. Is this written in the victim's blood? It's the crack, the red crack. Red ice. That's right. That uh, what's his name was smoking. Todd. Todd. Thank you. Victim used drugs. I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Examine the victim. Ugh. Okay. Clues to analyze zero of four. So. Internal bleeding, 28 stab wounds. Jesus. Deceased Christ. more than 19 days ago. Oh my god. So gross. Red ice. Acetone, lithium, therium, Toluene and hydrochloric acid. C seventeen H twenty one NO four. 
is like all over his face. And then... Fingerprints, database match for Carlos Ortiz, criminal record, theft, and aggravated assault. Right. They mentioned that already. Yeah, so just more of the same there. And then his eye? Deceased Carlos Ortiz, height 5'6", weight 286.6, estimated time of death 11.30 p.m., and we can now reconstruct the crime scene. Uh, how did he trip over the bottles? Victim fell here. Okay. Victim was stabbed. Okay, we knew that. And then they came from the kitchen. Okay. So now we just have to go check out the kitchen. So we'll take a sample. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dried blood, DNA analysis, it is Carlos's blood. Oh, okay. And then we analyze it. Regular letters, font, Cyber Life Sans. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Okay. Consider it done, Lieutenant. The knife. No fingerprints. Android involvement. <laughs> Yes, that is our first indication. Right. That there might <laughs> Not be some the fact that they wrote, I am alive on the wall in Cyberlink Sands <laughs> and in the victim's blood. Dry blood is Carlos Ortiz's sample date over 19 days. Okay, that's four pieces of evidence. Eden Club, come visit us. cabinet didn't see anything nope uh, what am I looking at here there's got to be something else right I thought there was something over here when I came through before now I'm just like awkwardly standing around <laughs> <these cops. laughs> the hell all right, let's go check out the kitchen. We know that's where we want to be, right? This isn't anything over here? Nope. All right. It said they came from the kitchen. So. Dried blood, Ortiz's, sure. Sure. Oh, that's a piece of evidence. Okay, wow. Uh, this house is very old. Yeah. Okay, we already saw that. Let's examine this chair. You can tell by the walls. Fingerprints, Arteezes, okay. Signs of a struggle. Okay. Sure. Seven pieces of evidence. Are they going to tell us anything we don't already know? Gossips Weekly, Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. <laughs> wow. Do you want to read this article or see what the next article is? Uh, sure. <laughs> Android sex officially better. The result of our survey is in, and it's official, 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. Wow. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. 
androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Am I right, gentlemen? Gross. Please note my dripping sarcasm. This story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Mm-hmm. The other story is, is your android spying on you? Cyberlife could be using its androids to collect private information. Mm-hmm. More and more experts are suggesting that Cyberlife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Ever talked about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner? Cyberlife could use that information for targeted advertising. The information goldmine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially used for nefarious purposes. Man. Dun dun! Man, if only there was some type of an equivalent in no modern day. No way that no. happens. No, nah, not even close. There's no evidence of that whatsoever. The spate of reports linking Warren's presidency to cyber life only deepens such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that CyberLife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells that information to, but the company has always refused. Requests for a formal inquiry have gone unanswered. So far. Okay. Okay. Uh, what am I looking at? Just see out the window? Okay. There's where the missing knife is. Murder weapon taken from here. Okay. Okay. So that's eight pieces of evidence. Good, good. Switch this camera angle. Thank you. In the bathroom. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, two clues to analyze with this. There is fingerprints, it seems. Of Ortiz. Whoops. Yep, okay. Sorry. That was so nothing. So what, was he beating the android with a bat? Cause violent, a uh, dent, cause violent impact, traces of therium. Mm-hmm. So, yes, seemingly. Uh, let's reconstruct and find out. Okay. Deviant took a knife. Okay. While he was being beaten, it seems. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. So, he was being beaten. He grabbed the knife, slashed him, and then he fell, dropping the bat. And then it seems the deviant then chased him into the other room, as we saw, and stabbed the shit out of him multiple times. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. We didn't report that the blood on the wall was Ortiz's. I mean, because, but Anderson had said that already. So presumably we would have reported if it was something that we didn't expect. Yeah, I guess. Or that wasn't expected by others, I guess. They said there was something weird in the bathroom, which is this way. I guess. Because we haven't been anywhere else. All right. Open the curtain. Obsessive writing. RA9? Is that what that says? RA19? I think it's just RA9. Yeah. It's a lot of RA9. Oh! There's stuff on the floor. It's a wax doll. Religious offering? Looks like it might be carved out of wood. Looks like wax, like melted wax. It's weird. Or like clay. Mm. Okay, we have all pieces of evidence, so now we just return to Lieutenant. Like they made it out of, like, terracotta clay. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I can... Sorry, I'm gonna see... I'm just trying to lower the game volume a little bit and see if that helps. All right, let's talk to him. In the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the living room. Uh, in the kitchen? In the kitchen. Yep. The 
That's not really where it started, though. Yeah, when he was beating him. Yeah, but before that is what exactly why. happened here. I think the victim attacked the android. With the bat. With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim, the android threw the chair, the victim stabbed the android. The android stabbed the victim. We know this, we saw this. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. The living room. Is this so the living room. Stupid. Well, because if you haven't done any of this, it would probably still have let you talk to him, but... Oh. But we had to take the time to reconstruct all this first mm -hmm. to figure it out. I tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Yeah. With the knife. What a surprise! We knew this. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. Damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Theory. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Uh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Okay, so now we have to search for blue blood traces. Okay. Um, okay, I don't... Oh, here it is. You can see it on the floor. Yep. And it looks like it goes this way. <clears throat> okay. So then they went into the bathroom to pray. Oh. The android. Examine here. A ladder was used. that window traces lead to the attic all traces found find something to climb uh, oh, there's stuff everywhere yeah oh the chair silly hey, me hey, hey. You're about to lose some Ethereum. <laughs> Excited? No. <laughs> no. Search the attic. Attic opened. Look for the deviant. Yeah, well. he's obviously behind the curtain. <laughs> we didn't take any weapons with us. Uh, we are the weapon. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a handprint. And it continues on to the back okay. of the attic. This way. Well. Well, I think we figured it out. I wonder if somebody's up here. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Well, hopefully we can use a weapon of some kind that we find. Well, why? He doesn't have a weapon either. The bat and the knife were both downstairs. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot he didn't have the knife. Okay. Oh, you can see the red light. Yeah. Or some form of red light. Okay, I can't press that button anymore, so. Deviant located. Trophy earned. Deviant located. Hmm. We missed some stuff, but not a lot. Yeah, but look it at all didn't give us the choice of whether to tell the lieutenant. Correct. That we found him. Correct. But we bought him another drink. That was the branching path there. Otherwise, everything else we did. Um, we did a lot of things at the crime scene, but not, not everything. Um... Mm -hmm. It looks like in the area where we checked the shower, we could have done more stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, there was a bunch of stuff in there that we could have looked at. Right. It says Connor knows what happened, so we could have gotten those questions wrong, right, with the lieutenant. Uh, yeah. Um, and so that would have taken us to that secondary path there up top. I don't know what this bottom path is, if... Uh, which looks like it's a path that we could have taken if we had kept checking near the shower or whatever. Yeah. Um, but we reconstructed the crime. We followed the blue blood to the attic. We searched the attic and we found the deviant. Um, if we look at the world stats, 66% of people bought him another drink. Um, 96% of people saw the Eden Club flyer. 99% examined the chair, 98 ex analyzed the red ice, 99% did uh, analyzed Carlos's body and the baseball bat, and reconstructed the assault with the bat, and reconstructed Carlos's last moments, and sampled the blood. Only 92% opened the closet, which we know led to nothing regardless. Right. 95% read Android Sex, and 79% read Android Spy. 95% uh, or sorry 99% analyzed the missing knife and the knife uh, 97 analyzed the blood on the walls 95 checked the shower and investigated the writing and examined the statue uh, we 98% of people got all the questions right mm -hmm. it seems uh, and reported it to the lieutenant but only 94 reconstructed the crime oh okay uh, and then 94% found the deviant Wow. Okay. Cool. November 5th, 2038. This is now Todd's house. Yeah, we're back with Kara. 9.14 p.m. Looks like he's coming. <laughs> Spaghetti. I keep forgetting she doesn't have to make one for herself. Yeah. They have any lights? What? Don't they have any lights? It says turn on, on the light. Oh, whoop, it's right here.
Serve Alice and Todd water? Yeah. Uh, napkins first. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. God, I'm a fucking android. <sighs> and you could hire a human for that. Those androids are so fucking wonderful. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? I mean, no. Maybe you think this is easy. I mean, Maybe sitting think around doing drugs. It's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My I mean, fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Tom. Someone else really scared me, Tom. Bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. And she was a shithead too, apparently. She didn't take the girl with her. Mm. Get back here. Come back here. Come back here right now. It's not a threat to her. She doesn't remember the last time. No! Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. I just wasn't good enough for her. And even with the rain, neighbors probably wouldn't hear this. No. Or you mean without the rain? Well, yeah. I mean, with with the rain, neighbors probably wouldn't right. even hear this. So, it's only Kara at this point that could save Alice. Should I move? Wait for him to get to the top of the stairs. Okay. When he can no longer see us, can we fucking call 911? Oh. Move. It, it, my programming is saying don't, but. Oh. Here we go. Call 911. Is that going to be an option? Did we see a phone anywhere when we nope. checked the house? Nope. Protect Alice. Okay, just pick that, I guess. Well, it's not a picking thing. Now that oh. we've broken our protocol or whatever, right, we That's broke we through our directive okay. of not moving, and so now we can protect Alice. Okay. Alice? Oh my god. Hear? Wants us to take the gun? Oh god. Get uh, out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. She's Why would I go back down stairs? Yeah. So fucking move. Seriously? Oh god. Leave 
leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here. That's an order. You hear me? No. I want you to leave Alice alone. Walk? What do you mean you walked? You don't anything. You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Woo! Dodging. <laughs> like hardening your skin or whatever i think it's just like our protective covering or whatever yeah that's ah i pressed the wrong button shit okay yes okay okay You. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. <laughs> oh, okay. He's alive. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> L1 or run away? Oh, God. L1, I guess? I don't know what L1 is. To look at him. Oh. Or do we tell her to run away? Tell her to run away. Yeah? Yeah. Isn't there the window? Or do we just go downstairs? Yep. Oh my god, seriously? <sighs> Hurry up. Wow, this oh sucks. Oh god, that took a long time. <sighs> Take the bus. She went in the wrong side. Yep, she sure did. You have to obey me. <laughs> Which one was he talking to? I know. Piece of shit. The point is he was talking to both of them. Yeah, exactly. Because <clears throat> he doesn't get it. We did very little. Look at it. Look at all yeah. the stuff we could have done. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well, oh. again, what we find with this game is the more things we do, the more time we take. Yeah. And... A lot of these situations are pretty time sensitive. Yeah. Well, in fact, one of the things, if you look here, um, get to Alice after Todd. So yeah. you were right because I was fucking spinning around in his bedroom for so long. Yeah. And I like, thought it was like making you go in there. And no. I was like, oh my God, does it want us to take the gun and shoot him? That was definitely one of the options. Yes, we could have done that. That's why we found no. it, or that's why it, like, unlocked that option. Yeah, okay. So you would not have wanted to do that if given the Hell option. Hell no. Okay. Okay. Good to know, right? Um, I was pretty proud of the fact that I only messed up one of those button pushes, because that was, uh, that kind of came out of nowhere, and I was like, oh, God, no. Um, all right, let's check out. Oh, okay, so Todd chases Kara. We chose the front door. We opened the front door. We caught the bus, and then we 
uh, it comes to the Kara and Alice fought their way out. Yeah. But there were, it seems, a couple of endings. Well, I think you mentioned the, um, the like, ledge outside of Alice's window would have been an option. Yeah, especially if maybe if we got to her before he did, that mm-hmm. would have been an option. But while he was in the room, not really, yeah. you know. Or maybe maybe while he was on the ground, it would have been an option to be able to like try to quickly get her out the window, right, kind of right. a thing. Um, but he was kind of close. Yeah, very close. Point. Absolutely, so he would have like possibly tried to grab the ankles or whatever. Right. right. Well, and again, that option is there no matter what. So if we had shot him. We could have gone out the window, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think of this, of what we just went through? Uh, it's pretty realistic. Yeah, um, which is unfortunate and shitty, but again, it's, you know, it's art. It's a piece of media, so how do you feel about that? Is that, like, this could be very traumatizing for someone playing this who isn't ready for this to occur if they've experienced something similar in their life and yet like you said especially for people who have not this is like you know with red ice involved or whatever but otherwise it's super fucking realistic and awful yeah i i appreciate that you I liked the visual of shirking our programming. Like, I had to mash this X button over and over and over again to push through that wall of programming to... And then it just says, protect Alice, right? Like, Because, unfortunately, right, if I'm going to... If I can get uh, sympathetic for a moment... uh, there are probably a good number of people, again, whether they fear for their own safety or not, and this isn't uh, saying anything negative about them because of it, but there are probably many people who are in Alice's position who are not androids following programming right. who would not have done what, not Alice, sorry, Kara, that there are a lot of people who are in Kara's position who don't do what Kara did, and it's not because they were directed to not move or whatever, like... Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, um, all right. So let's look at the stats. We, the ending that we got, only 41% of people got that ending. Hmm. And 13% of people opened the front door. 24% of people even tried it in the first place. 37% of people had Todd chase us. 37% of us left the room. 37% 37% stunned Todd in the fight. Mm-hmm. 82% defended Alice. I guess, like, physically defended her. Mm-hmm. Um, or or saying to stop. Yes. Could um, be what they consider defending. Right. Uh, 74%. Okay, so we were in the vast majority for getting to Alice after Todd did. So yeah. there was a way to get to her first, but it's it was not seemingly an easy one. Yeah, I... I honestly don't know what that would have been well i'm not sure because obviously he went up first unless we would have went up the stairs prior to him telling us to stay still no not prior to us because we still would have had to break our programming so he would have he would have told us to not move and then maybe while he was pacing smoking the red ice we could have run up he would have chased after us Right, angry that we broke a direct order, and then we could have gotten to her that way. Yeah, but that's causing the issue. I mean, it's not though. He at one point. I mean, in this game, it's not sure. But in reality, like, sure, we don't know he's gonna go up there at all. If he's smoking the red ice downstairs and pacing around. Maybe all he does is smoke the red ice downstairs and pace around and talk shit for a while and then sit back down on the couch. Yeah, you know, I mean, and he, then pass out like he normally does. But he did say at one point, I'm going to teach her a lesson or whatever. Right. right? And but that's what not I'm like right before he turned like, and went up. It's just. 
Sure. Like, yeah, sorry. going up there gives him a reason to go up there. Right, because now he's angry at us more immediately as opposed right. to just generally angry at her yes. because he's a terrible human being and, and has to blame I a didn't child for all his him woes. to see us move sure. while he was on the stairs. So I didn't want us to move until his eyes were past the top of the stairs enough where he wouldn't have been able to see us. Right. Um, but I didn't realize it was going to take so long for us to break programming. Yeah. Because if I had known it was going to take that long, I maybe would have tried to start earlier on. Oh, my God. So 97% of people break programming. Does that mean that 3% of people just stand there and listen to him beat her? I guess. I don't know, man. Wow. Wow. Or maybe they try to break it, but they can't. Like, if, uh, if they're bad like at it. Like, runs out of time or something, yeah. Yeah. It says, Kara becomes a deviant. So that's, I guess, what a deviant is, is someone that breaks their programming. Yeah. They're like, that's the title that they use for them. 97% of people go upstairs. 45% of situations have Todd go upstairs? What? Hmm. Like, like, some people break their programming before he goes upstairs, and so then he only confronts us downstairs, Yeah, maybe? Like, like it prevents him from going after Alice because he's harming us That's instead. what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Weird. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. So this is the first one where I would say, and, it, you know, obviously I want your opinion as well, but this is the first one where I would say I would love to do this section again just to see what the other options are obviously not not for the subject matter the subject mm -hmm. matter blows nuts but um but to because of all the other options like you know what if if we get the gun what if we just use it to intimidate him but we don't actually shoot him you know what i mean like or what happens if we move while we're downstairs and what is he, you know, do we then... Getting the gun would scare Alice. That's sure. That's not okay. Sure. Well, but, okay, we but... We need her to trust us. But moving while we're down, while he's still downstairs and so are we, do we then draw his anger only to us and save Alice from it? It, it looks to me like that's what this little branch is. Yeah, these, these three these locked three things here. Yeah. Spots. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's these three up here because Todd goes upstairs, oh, right? Is the 45% okay. over yeah, here? Yeah, I just figured it had to have been like early enough on. But if know. that's where Todd's thing is, yeah. then yeah. Yeah, it's so weird. Look at all of this that we missed here. Like, what is any of this? I'm just I so curious. Um and, like, then it continues all the way down here. Like, look at all the locked options. Now, it does tell you over here. Sorry for the zooming and unzooming and whatever. Um, it says that we are 27% completed with this. And that doesn't mean that you have to get 100% completion because right. there's so many different ways of doing it. But that the path that we took only completed 27% of these... Um, Areas. Branching paths and locked areas and stuff. So crazy. Uh, oh, right. We, whoops. Yeah, we, are, we were looking at the world stats. So, okay. I mean, we are among 41% of people who had Kara and Alice fight their way out together and get out and safely get on the bus. Pseudo safely, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. Okay, so that means... That otherwise they don't get out? I don't know. Again, like I said, I, I really don't know. Because I could have lost that fight. I mean, I was yeah. I was hitting the button pushes. Right. Who knows what would have happened? I have no idea. Well, I don't want to find out. Fair. But it but it says Kara, Kara and Alice fight their way out. It's possible that we could have maybe snuck our way out. I don't know. I don't know what the... You know what I mean? Like, it specifically says fought their way out. So maybe we could have gotten out a different way. We could have snuck out. We could have, you know, whatever. Maybe we could have hit Todd once he was on the ground. Keeping him from chasing us. Well, but we didn't fight once we left her room ever, uh, again. 
We just ran away. Yeah, I know. So we did fight our way out before that point because we didn't fight after that. So like not hitting him would yeah, is obviously still considered still fighting our way out. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I assume there has to be an option where we don't make it out. But if you remember what the beginning of the game said when we were setting difficulty settings, it says that you can run the possibility of uh, having a harder difficulty where you can lose a character. So maybe this was one of those scenarios where we could have died as Kara yeah. and left Alice alone with Todd. Well, thank God we didn't. Right? Uh, to the extent that you're comfortable doing so, you are more than welcome to leave your thoughts down in the comments below if you're watching this. Um, you know, it, it, I... I I'm not asking for this because, one, I don't need it. But if you feel that you want to share personal experiences, you're obviously more than welcome. But I, I'm not trying to make anybody feel like they have to do that or whatever. Um, I, I feel like for some people, this would fulfill some type of hero fantasy of like, I get to go save the child, right? Like I get to protect her and, and step in. But for other people, it's, it's disgusting. drastically different. Drastically different. Like, this is... This one's rough. This one was pretty rough. Yeah. Um, so, that is going to be the end of this particular episode. Uh, feel free to take some time after this. Relax, maybe listen to some calming music, some nice music or something. Um, we will be back next week for what is hopefully a more light episode. Um, since I didn't really ask, let's let's go back a little bit, if you don't mind. What did you think of, of the um, Connor section with the, um, like, finding the deviant and actually doing another, like, crime scene analysis? It was annoying that it asked us the questions after we did the reconstruction because we blatantly knew it and so yeah. it was like you know like blues clues style of like where's the clue it's like we already obviously know where it is find it yeah <laughs> oh fuck yourself <laughs> no um oh anyway clancy jones or whatever the the lieutenant mm -hmm. is mr krabs okay from spongebob that's what I was, that's what I know him the most from. I also know he was on like an episode or two of Lost, um, which I recognized him from. But yes, I also. I used to watch him on Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Um, and the first thing I ever remember seeing him in, although it's really been many things that I've seen him in, <laughs> um, was Earth 2. Okay, I'm not fully familiar, but okay. Most people aren't. <laughs> but it's a uh, sci-fi TV show that came out when we were kids. Okay, and like I said in episode one, I'm familiar with Kara's actress from the show The Following, with uh, yeah. Kevin Bacon and Sean Ashmore. So, okay. Well, anyway, uh, let us know your favorite uh, <laughs> show that uh, Clancy, whatever his last name is, I think it's Jones, but I could be very wrong. Uh, but let us know the favorite the, our, the favorite thing that you've seen Clancy in. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this particular episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. Yes. I really do hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate that uh, you got this far. Yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. That's why I say, you know, I appreciate <clears throat> that I got this far. <laughs> Go watch one of our Pokemon episodes or something after this. How does that sound? Um, yeah, I and I I did to a degree try to give you a warning that there might be I didn't without trying yeah. to give away the show or the yeah. game, you know, um, try to give you a warning that there would be something like this in yeah. here. I don't know if I undersold it or whatever, but well, when we came back as Kara, like I assumed that something of this nature would happen. Yeah. I mean the game, the game either thankfully or unfortunately gave us that foreshadowing right. pretty blatantly that, that right. this dude was a scumbag and, that this was this might be what happened, but um, 
But yeah, so we will have to see uh, what happens next. If you want to tune in next week, make sure that you are subscribed and that you have that bell rung so that you make sure that you uh, get notifications for whenever any of our videos come out, including the continuation of the series next week. Uh, but for now, from us here at the Geek for All family of channels, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. Check out our other channels down in the description box below, our socials as well. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.